Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart of Life Over 60 with Sandra. Today I want to really have an honest conversation about life right now and perhaps how all of us are feeling. What's on your mind? I see that you are struggling. Why wasting time to try to fix this on your own? You said you'd be alright, and around the corner is another day. Although I know that's a lie, I'm waiting for you to give it up. Cause there is some hidden love, hidden love, hidden love just for us. And say to yourself, what am I living for right now? Now, I know that's a big question, but a lot of us have had many days now to really think about that. Are you content? Are you really happy right now? Or are you finding it really difficult in this isolation and with the mindset that you may be having to really find happiness and contentment the way you used to in life? Well, it's really interesting to me because I've been thinking about this a lot. That's why I'm doing this video. I never ever felt that there was an urgency in my aging process or an urgency to get things done. Every day I had a purpose and every day I would always get up in, with gratitude. But I never felt an urgency that maybe the window was closing and what am I going to do with the rest of my life? I never felt that urgency. I mean, I always had a plan <laughs> of what I was gonna do. But I think this isolation that I have been and that we've all have been has made me really, made it harder for me to really find happiness every day and made it harder for me to really find my purpose every day. And I'm just being honest. You know, we're all human. We all want to do the right things in life. But golly, sometimes, what all the stuff that's going around with the violence that's going around with COVID and waiting for a vaccine and all this stuff, this static in the world that's going around us, it's really been hard, at least for me, to wake up every day and say, la, la, la. It really has been hard for me. And you know, I don't know if it's because I may be at a different point in my life that many of you are. You know, I are I am in my eighth decade and the reality is is, you know, that's probably I'm going toward the last chapters in my story here on earth. But I never felt an urgency about it. But somehow because of all this that's going on with me I've had to really stop and press that button and say, hey, you know, what am I living for now? Have I lost my purpose? Have I had this, gee, woe is me, and why can't I travel to see my children? You know, why can't I be in Nashville in my granny pod with the deer and the chickens and my new grandchild? You know, woe is me. Quit feeling sorry for yourself and to be grateful and to bloom right here where you are planted. Grow roots. 
and be strong and make the best of where you are right now. And it's really been hard for me. And I don't know your situation. I don't know wherever in the world you are, what stage of this COVID situation that you are in. Uh, Maybe you are free to go around with a mask, but your restaurants are open and everything is open. But right down here, down here, our restaurants just opened today and they're all outdoor. Uh, They're trying to encourage more tourists to come down. And I walked Sophie the other day and I am telling you, I saw a lot of tourists because, you know, they always have their beach stuff and they're going to the beach or they're going, you know, to find some place to have breakfast. Nobody was wearing a mask. No one. So here I am with my mask, you know, and I know we're outdoors, so it's a lot better. But I thought, when when are we going to get out of lockdown here in South Beach if they're encouraging tourists to come down? And they don't care to wear a mask, whatever they do, because they feel they're in a tropical area and, hey, it's healthy and great down here. But the reality is, you know, COVID is still here. And until we get a vaccine, uh, most of us who are older are probably not very smart to travel. Uh, So, you know, I had a conversation yesterday with Sandra Salen, who is a a subscriber, a good friend of mine. We follow one another on Instagram. And we were talking about, you know, COVID. She's in L.A. and I'm here in South Beach, completely two different areas of the country. But we were talking and, you know, we're, we're kind of in lockdown and we're talking about traveling and doing things like that. But And she asked me, you know, if I was going to go away for the holidays. I said, no, you know, my husband is, is going to be 94 in October you know, you know how old I am. We're both, you know, in the close age um, category. And she said, yeah, I know. She says, my husband is 88 and we're not going to go anywhere. So that's just, you know, the reality of where we are right now. So I know that it's going to be extra hard for us to stimulate happiness and to stimulate positivity in our lives. But you know, When we wake up trying to bloom where we are mentally, that happiness comes, that gratitude comes, and that contentment comes because that's how our brain is wired. So if we are able every day to get through this. I know I'm going to go this week to get my flu shot and hopefully at the local CVS. I don't want to go to my doctor in the hospital. You know, I don't want to be near a hospital right now. So I'm going to go get my flu shot. I'm going to, we FaceTime with my children every single day and I'm going to try to work my life so that I can regain who I was before this happened. And I think all of us who have been through troubles, if you're alone, if you've lost a spouse, if someone is ill, you know, in your life, or if you've retired. And I know from my subscribers, all of these things are so true. So I think if we can really try to bloom right now (laughs) in this circumstance where we are, we're going to be a heck of a lot over the fence and way ahead in the race once we get a vaccine and this thing gets back to kind of our new normal. So that's the way I'm feeling. And, you know, I've almost been on YouTube for four years. And I have to tell you how grateful I am for each and every one of you. And perhaps, you know, I have found and I've been thinking about my new purpose in life. Probably it is to make friendships and be a part of this network where all where we are all are helping each other because i honestly feel through your stories and through your sharing and i think we've built such a wonderful community that we all are friends we all are sisters and we all have empathy for one another and we all care we want one another to all have 
as good a life as possible. And we're here to support you when you think you need a pat on the back or you need a virtual hug or you just need to have someone say, hey, you know what? You are worthy and you deserve the best of everything, whether it's now or whether it is the best is yet to come for you and for me. We're all in this together. Thank you for coming again today and sharing with me. Please be good to yourself. Call someone today and tell them that you're thinking about them and you love them. And of course, let's share the love because in these turbulent times, Every ounce of love and blessings we can give to our neighbor really helps. Take care. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video.